Hi guys, welcome back to Irish Footy Vlogs. Welcome back to, unfortunately, the final European video involving a League of Ireland club this year. It obviously finished Shamrock Overs nil. Flora Talon won at Talent Stadium. I think Rovers will be gutted, to be honest with you guys, um, over the course of the two legs. We can talk about the first leg. We obviously have before, but, uh, you know... They gave away some soft goals in that match. And I, th I thought the time the fourth goal was a killer. I thought 3-2, they had a chance. Tonight, I don't think Rovers played badly at all, guys. They had most of the ball. Of course, Floor let them have most of the ball. But still, they had most of the ball. They created a number of chances in this match, guys. They really needed that first goal. It was crucial, and they didn't get it. To be fair to Rovers, when they conceded it, they uh, kept trying and kept pushing forward to try and get a goal, but just couldn't get it. First half, first 20 minutes, that Rovers were really good. Between the 11th and 13th minute, they had chances through Green, Finn and Burke. Green's shot was a tough chance, to be fair. He was wide and the left took a shot on. The decent shot, actually, that just went wide. Finn, after a good build-up play, had a shot from about 20 yards, say, from the keeper. So despite playing well in that first half, Rovers just couldn't get that league goal. And if they got it at any point, there was a number of little points where they could have got it, in my opinion. The game, the whole tie changes, but, you know, they had a bit of pressure floor, to be fair, last five minutes and a half. A um, couple of little chances, but mostly set corner kicks and things like that. But um, you can see a bit of pressure there. So on to the second half, nil-nil, still in the tie, you feel. Early pressure all coming from Shamrock Rovers. But then disaster struck, guys. Um, I think it was 56 minutes, actually, when uh, Sabin on their most prolific goal score. A very rare break for Flora. He was at uh, a very tight angle on the right. Takes a shot, bit of power, straight at Manus. And Manus just gets over the ball, and it goes under him, and it's 1-0. And you feel at that point, tie is over. To be fair to Rovers, as I said previously, they did keep going. They did keep trying to score after that. And they didn't give up, for sure. But you just felt that killed the stone dead. Didn't it? They needed the first goal, ultimately, in this tie. Um, a couple of things, I suppose, went wrong for them at the wrong times of both ties. The fourth goal, obviously, psychologically, in the first leg. And this goal here, obviously, psychologically as well. But um, after that, they had some chances. Um Green had a chance, 60 minutes. You had Tell, good save from the goalkeeper, in fairness. And Scales, forcing a good save from the keeper as well, late on as well. But um, ultimately, you know, not a bad performance for Shamrock Rovers, but a very disappointing night. I think ultimately, guys, they'd be good at I think this is a tie that they were more than capable of winning. I felt it was never going to be easy. Flora were always going to be a trash, but I felt this was a tie Rovers were definitely capable of winning. They'll be very disappointed. and uh, This is an instant reaction, so it's not. I'm not really sure if they'll be more disappointed with the first leg or the second leg. I'd imagine the first leg, let's be honest. Conceding the four goals, sloppy, etc., etc. But I still think that if they got the first goal in this tie, there was a good chance to get a second, in my opinion. Just couldn't get that goal uh, in this leg, I should say. And, you know, Flora, such a soft goal to give away as well. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. Apart from score, there wasn't much more Rovers could do tonight. I mean, the team selection, you Manus in goal. He'll be disappointed. Very disappointed with that goal, though. Uh, you'd right wing back at Finn. I thought he'd play better in this leg. Liam Scales left wing back. Centre-backs initially, Sean Hoare. He went off injured. Gannon came on for him. Pico Lopez and... Um, Joey O'Brien. They defended, I have to say, much better overall. They're a bit more compact. Even though they a lot of the ball and they sat back a bit, they still weren't open to counterattacks in the game, I felt, Shamrock Rovers. And even for the goal, um, it wasn't like they got in easily. As I said, he was at an angle taking a shot and Manus is to blame for that, to be fair. But I thought they defended much better. It's a pity they didn't defend more compact in the first leg. I think that was a killer. In midfield, I went with Gary O'Neill. Uh, decent enough game. Danny Mandrew had some moments. Came off for tell. Uh, Gary O'Neill and... Um, who's the other one? Sorry. Dylan Watts. He came off as well for uh, um, for Gaffney, actually. And they, they moved the two up front, more or less. Burke played off Green. But um, the only question mark for me, honestly, was uh, Green ahead of Gaffney. I don't know. We'll never know. 
Um, but I just felt there was opportunities in the first half where Green, you know, that chance he didn't anticipate properly. I felt he could have done better there. I'm not saying Gaffney would have done better, but there were some good, juicy crosses into the box as well, actually, particularly from Rovers' right. Wasn't capitalised on, wasn't anticipated. Maybe Gaffney does, who knows? I'd like to know your opinion. But um, ultimately, that's the end of the, the League of Ireland clubs in Europe. And, um, you know, we might do a video on it, guys. If, if you're interested, let me know down in the comments. Um, we might do a video kind of a review of the League of Ireland clubs in Europe not as an individual thing but on the whole and how we see it maybe how we grade it and things like that so let me know in the comments if that's something that would interest you guys but uh, I think Shamrock Rovers and Stephen Bradley be bitterly bitterly disappointed with this now they have a big match on Sunday of course against Bohemians in the Cup they have a league to win and they're in pole position now I have to say in a great position now in the league um, particularly when the closest rivals are Suffering from injury for from injuries to key players at the moment as well, St Patrick's Athletic. So you, you do fancy them to push on, have a good season, and and certainly win the league, might win the cup. But it's a big game on Sunday as well. But um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like the video if you like this content. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed, guys. There's probably a few people that actually watch the videos who haven't subscribed. Um be fantastic if you could just click that subscribe button it doesn't cost anything in case you're wondering as well and um, it just helps it helps and uh let me know your opinions in the comments i'll see you again guys good luck now